Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So, for today's video, I am going to be doing a full face of trying Tom Ford makeup products. Now, I want you to check out my most recent video where I did a Tom Ford haul where I got a bunch of Tom Ford makeup products for 50% off. So if you want to see how I did that and what else I got, make sure you check out that video. But for today, I'm putting those products to use and to test out. And this is the look that I created and I've got to say I'm kind of mad at myself for how much I love these products. So if you want to see how I got this look and what I think of Tom Ford products and whether I think they are worth it or not, then just keep watching. So first of all, more important than the makeup, I bought a blazer. I've always wanted a blazer that I could wear with some jeans and like a t-shirt. So yeah, if you're looking for a blazer, H&M. I just wanted to mention that because I feel, mm, mm. Okay, Tom Ford, let's go. So I tried to only pick out the products that you can still purchase in store that I saw online. So the first thing we have is the bronzing primer. This is in the shade resort to pleasure so i'm already breaking the rule i found this online but it's like sold out everywhere i don't know if it will be coming back but i just really really want to try this so it looks like this let's see if it bronzes my skin kind of scared huh mm-hmm hmm, hmm. Okay, so I definitely look bronze. Okay, listen, I'm not going anywhere after this, so I'm not gonna do my neck because I don't wanna mess up my new blazer. But I, I suppose I look quite bronze. So that definitely did warm up my face, so this will be good if you self-tan. I personally do not self-tan, but I mean, that that left me quite bronzed. I actually think I would really like this in the summer, and it left a slight dew to my face as well. So for foundation today, I'm using the Traceless Foundation Stick. This I've had for, I bought this summer, so this might be a little dark on me. Eh, not bad. With the bronzing primer on, actually it's a good shade. So this foundation stick is amazing. I've had this for quite some time and I love it. It's one of the best foundation sticks I've ever tried. It's just like mad expensive, but I love it. If you're into luxury foundations, this just really makes your skin look so natural. It's not like super high coverage or anything, but that's actually one of my favorite foundations for the summer because I just kind of stick it on my skin and I'll use my hands to blend it out and it doesn't need set or anything and I just look so beautiful. So I love that foundation. It's expensive, but that foundation is actually worth it. Okay, so for concealer, I actually do not own a Tom Ford concealer. And typically for the sake of my channel, I would go out and buy a concealer, but... <laughs> The way Tom Ford prices his makeup, I'm just gonna use Charlotte Tilbury because it's expensive as well. And at my Nordstrom, Tom Ford and Charlotte Tilbury are back to back on their counters. So same thing, right? So this is just the Magic Away Liquid Concealer and I'm using a light shade because I'm looking a little bronzier than I was born. <laughs> People really like that whole brightening effect, but honestly, it's a bit much for me. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the foundation on the back of my sponge, and we're just gonna kind of put it all over the face just to kind of neutralize that brightening. And I just love this foundation because I feel like you can never put too much on. I don't talk about this foundation enough. It is good. So here's another thing I was extremely excited about. This is the Tom Ford, obviously, Shade and Illuminate. This is in the shade Intensity 1. I saw Patrick Ta using this and I love Patrick Ta. So I'm just going to apply the contour right here. Oh, that looks scary. I like to apply it a little bit higher than I normally would in an attempt to kind of raise my cheeks. Let's see how this blends. Ooh, this blends nicely. Oh, 
Okay, so wow, that blended so beautifully. I'm a little overly bronze, more than I'd prefer, but it's okay. Okay, so I just decided while editing that it is not okay. I am extremely overly bronzed with too light concealer throughout the rest of the video. That is why this was just a try on, okay? Just relax. I, I completely acknowledge I look a little crazy, but next time I will know how to use the product hopefully, and I won't make myself look like a crazy person. Your girl was just having fun, okay? okay? And then we're gonna use the Illuminate side. I'm not really a big cream illumination person, but this is like pure glow from within glow. So with this, you're not gonna get anything super beaming, but it is like super glossy looking. Like it looks like glass. So I did notice this did slightly pick up the foundation just a little bit on my cheek, but nothing too bad. I think that's more of a problem with the foundation rather than this. But this has like no color to it. That's not the type of illumination it gives. It's more about the finish that it gives. This is really, really pretty. I see the hype behind that one. Okay, so what I also was super pumped about was the Soleil Contouring Compact. So this one I think you can get on Beautylish. And this is Soleil Afterglow. <sighs> oh my gosh, I'm about to have so much fun. So I'm gonna bring out my handy dandy Tom Ford bronzer brush. I don't really need bronze, but for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna kind of pat that and setting it. That <laughs> was a bad idea. <laughs> Oh gosh. So I don't really want to speak too much on the color. I just kind of wanted to set the bronzer. So let's move on to blush. This is my favorite Isom X52. We're gonna go into this pink. It's quite pink. She's pigmented. If you have a deeper complexion, I think you will love this blush. This is gonna look so good on you. I look like I just went to the Bahamas. Okay, and then we are gonna try this highlighter. So this is very, very pink. So if you don't like a pink highlighter, it won't like this. It goes very well with the blush though. So I'm gonna keep it lower, more so on the blush. That's pretty. I'm interested in seeing how the bronzer and the highlight do on its own because there was a cream bronzer underneath and also a cream highlighter underneath. So that will always amplify how they work. So I will continue to test this and see how I like it on its own. I can't get over how like orange I look. So for the eyes, we have the eye color quad. This is in Seductive Rose. So this is in their permanent line. So I was so happy that I picked this up. So I guess we're just gonna go in with this one. I'm gonna go in very lightly. Listen, if my makeup doesn't perfectly match, that's only because I'm trying to show you the products that you can still purchase. So ideally, I wouldn't wear this look <gasps> with this blush or be this bronze. So that just blended itself. So, um, okay, plums can be very, very hard to work with and that just literally did it itself. I barely did anything. Okay, and now we're gonna use this color right underneath the brow bone. Okay, and then we are going to use this color right here, which seems very sheer from swatching. Yeah, so this isn't giving too terribly much pay off on the lid. It's more that finish that's showing up. So it's kind of a really soft glitter. I don't know if it's worth $88. And then I'm going to use this one more towards the front. And this looks the same as the outside color. So, I mean, okay. So look at my eyes. Really, really pretty. However, this palette is originally priced at $88. Do I think this is worth $88? No. However, the quality is good. Um, I wish the shimmer shades gave a little more than what they gave, but I like how this plum color, it's buildable too. So you're really not just getting like one color. You can build onto it for more depth in the eye. And I didn't set my under eyes, but that's okay. 
then I'm going to use the highlight that was in here to highlight my inner corner. I don't know though, this stuff applied like a dream. So this highlighter definitely isn't too blingy either. So I'm gonna put on some mascara really fast and then we will move on to the lips. So just let it be known, I am not having a good hair day. <laughs> so we're just gonna tuck that behind the ears. <laughs> okay, so a couple lips, neither of them really match my look. <laughs> so this first one is Willful, which is going to be my new favorite summer color, uh, but I'm not gonna try that on in this video. And the other one that you can get still is Deceiver, which is a peachy nude. So this is obviously going to go better than the Willful. Going to line my lips really fast. This isn't Tom Ford. This is Pat McGrath Lab Contour, but it just looks good with everything. I know I love their lipsticks already. Ah. So smooth and so moisturizing. So I know this is like a little concealer lippy, but I kind of like it. So <laughs> this is the final look. Now, the, my face is a little mismatchy because I normally wouldn't pair these products and colors together But just for the sake of the video and trying on the products that you can still get This is what we ended up with like maybe not all together, but everything looks really really Beautiful, let me just go over everything. So the bronzing primer. I Love this it really did bronze my skin. I think I'm going to love this in the summer Honestly, put that down the neck. It's going to look beautiful. I already said my two cents on the traceless foundation stick This is phenomenal. So the shade and illuminate is really really nice I don't know that this is worth the price But I'm such a cream bronzer girl that I'm so extremely happy that I bought this the lens like a dream I think I would go a shade down if I have the choice but this still works and especially once it hits summer This is going to be more appropriate for my skin tone. I know I look a little overly bronzed right now, but It's okay. Then we have the Soleil contouring compact. I love everything about this. This is so Luxurious. This is very pink. I don't really like how it looks with my look right now but individually, I, I want to play with this stuff some more, uh, but from what I can tell, I do really like it. That blush is very, very pigmented, but it blended really easily over a cream foundation that I hadn't set. So that's very impressive, and I love a good pink blush. Um, I This isn't that blingy, but I kind of like that, and I really can't speak on the bronzer because I really just only used it to set the cream bronzer, but I can imagine that I really like this because everything in here is so good. The next item that I talked about was the eye color quad. Now this one I'm kind of on the fence about. I, okay, I don't think it's worth the money, but dang, it is amazing quality. Like, there's something, I don't know, because there really is something special and unique about these shadows because, yeah, they aren't your typical super pigmented shadow, but that is what I like about this. It's a, for a specific type of person. It's really buildable as well. It blends like a dream. And I mean, I love, 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 love my eye look. So I think in the grand scheme of things, this isn't worth the money um, if you're trying to be practical, but there really is something special about this formula that I really like. So, I mean, I say it's not worth it, but for somebody like me who is a makeup enthusiast, and I mean, I'm loving this look and I'm loving the quality, believe it or not, I could justify purchasing a few more of these but it hurt, it'll hurt my soul, it really would. And the last thing that I used from Tom Ford in this video is the lip color in the shade Deceiver. I mean, I know I love Tom Ford lipsticks. I have a couple already. I think they are beautiful quality, overpriced, absolutely. Sephora has like little smaller ones that are a bit more affordable. I would recommend you purchase those. I just happened to get lucky and get this for half off. Um, I don't think I would really ever purchase a lipstick from Tom Ford for full price, but they do have a lovely formula. If you're looking for comparable formulas for a little bit less money, Pat McGrath has a great formula. 
Hourglass has my favorite formula. Uh, Fenty has a beautiful formula. All of those lipsticks have a formula that reminds me of this. So those are still a bit expensive as well, but they're less expensive than this. Ooh, it's a little crazy. But the formula is one of my favorites, absolutely. Yeah, overall, that is my opinions on the Tom Ford stuff that I got to purchase. I really was hoping I wouldn't like anything in this video because this stuff is so expensive. But I mean, Tom Ford lovers, I see what you mean. It's good stuff. Anyways, I hope you guys have found this video helpful and enjoyable. I thought it would just be fun to sit down and play with some new expensive luxurious makeup. Let me know what your favorite products from Tom Ford are or if you haven't tried Tom Ford, what you want to try. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys, have a great day.